Happy Easter! He is risen! He is risen indeed! Oh, I love Easter. I'm so excited about our lesson today and to get to um, share it with you. But first we want to do a quick birthday shout out for our friend Wyatt McCarthy. Happy birthday, Happy Wyatt! Happy birthday! <laughs> and um, I love this story which we can find in Matthew, Mark, Luke, Luke and, and John. John. And there's some really, really good news in this story today, which is nice because we've good had news. some Good news? Well, that's really that been... great because I've been reading our Laguna Beach local uh, I've seen magazine. that magazine. Yeah, yeah. and there's going to be a bubble festival at Bluebird Ooh, Park. Oh, I love bubbles, especially outside the way the light catches on them and everything. Yeah, I've seen some really big bubbles in this town. Yeah, but I have some good news that's even better than bubbles in our Bible story today. Um, well, I saw another thing in this uh, magazine. It says, there's a house for rent on Thalia Street. Oh, that's a great street to live on. Three bedroom, two bath, $100 a month. 100 100 That's all? I can tell by your face. That's good news. Wow, that's an amazing, amazing deal. I've never heard of anything like that. I mean, when they said they were going to lower rents, uh, that's wow. 100 Wow. But... My news is even better than a really fabulous place to live at a really, really affordable price. It's better news than that. It's like a forever house. Good news kind of story. I have one more little good news story in this uh, Laguna Beach magazine. What? Okay, there's supposed to be perfect surf this summer. Perfect surf? Yeah, oh, all summer. Oh, the surfers will be happy about that. Yeah, the all swell summer? size, the wind direction, the wind speed. No way. Perfect. Wow, that is impressive good the news. The swell is expected to be 20 seconds towards the beach. Wow, that's a Laguna long ride. Beach. Great news. Can't top that. Well, but I can top that. Not me, but Jesus in our Bible story has something really amazing and good that happens in our story today. So maybe we should get into the story. Let's and see get what in, that yeah, really good news is. Yeah, let's get into is. it. Okay. So in my uh, Jesus Calling Bible storybook, it says on Easter Sunday, God's big plan wasn't done yet. We, last time we did our story, we heard about how there was people that didn't believe that Jesus was God's son, that they captured him, that they put him on a cross, and he allowed it to happen because of his love for us, because he knew that by doing that, he would actually pay for all the wrong things that anybody has ever done in all of their life, yesterday, today, tomorrow. But we're going to find out some good news in this story. Some people still didn't believe that Jesus was God's son after everything that happened. And even his friends, his followers, his disciples, they were a little bit confused and they weren't sure either. You see, Jesus had told people that three days after he died, one, two, three for the pre-cares, yep, that he would live again. Now, who has the power to lay down their life and live again? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Once you're dead, you're dead. Not if you're Jesus. Because hmm. what happened was Jesus' friends laid his body in a tomb and some Roman soldiers came and they sealed the tomb shut with a huge rock. Oh, yeah. Oh. It was, oh, yeah. Okay, so that's a big oh. rock. And I can tell that it's heavy. Oh, oh sorry. It's so heavy. But... Um, the rock that they rolled in front of it was even bigger than this. I think it probably took a few people and maybe a bar or something to wedge it into place. Oh, but it was a really big rock. Ugh. And, you know, they were afraid because they knew that Jesus said he was going to rise again. So they thought if we put guards there and if we seal it up shut tight. They made then, it impossible. Yeah. They said then this won't happen. They could keep this miracle from happening. But no possibilities that he could get out. That's right. They had the Roman soldiers guard night and day, and they put a special seal over it. And those who had hated Jesus figured that he was dead and that this was the end of the story. The end. What? The end? No, there's more to this story. That's not oh. the good news. I can't trick you. Did I trick you? It's not the end of the story. I'm so glad it's not the end of the story. What's what happened happen? was early on Sunday morning when the sun was rising up in the garden, the sun was shining, and some of the women followers of Jesus that were his friends, they arrived at the tomb, and suddenly the earth rumbled and shook. Toby, it's earthquake. Oh my gosh, did you feel that? Yes, it's like we're in the story. Wow, it is. 
like we're in this story. Well, the earth shook, and it shook because there was a blinding light that came shining down from heaven, and an angel appeared wearing a glowing white robe. He rolled the stone away from the tomb, and he sat on it. The sight of the angel in the empty tomb scared the guards so much that they just fainted. They fell right over. Can you believe that? They were so scared. I would probably be scared too with an earthquake and an angel and it was shining in all of its brightness. Well, what happened was the angel said to the women that came, are you, are you looking for Jesus? And um, they told the woman, he's not here. God brought him to life just as Jesus said he would. And the angel told the woman, go and tell his disciples and his followers that Jesus has risen from the dead. Wow. Whoa. Oh that my goodness. Like good news. It's really good news. Just like he said he was going to rise from the dead, he really did it. Okay. So well, what does that mean for us? Well, in our book right here, it talks about what Jesus might say about what that means to us. Do you want to read it for I us? think I should read it. Yeah. It says, my power is stronger than death. I rose from the dead. I became alive again. If you believe in me and ask me to come into your heart, heaven is your future home. You will live forever with me, even when your life on earth is over. This is the best gift anyone could ever give you. Oh, that is the best good I news. I get it. The best gift because heaven, wow, it's better than any day we've ever lived here on earth ever. Yeah, so all the things I could think of that are just the best news ever for earth can't compare to the best news ever in heaven with Jesus forever. It's better than bubbles, better than good surf, it's better than be the great. best apartment, it's better be than the my best. favorite toy and my favorite friend and my favorite animal. There's no sin, sickness, death, dying. There's no I'm pandemic. Going. Oh, it's going to be so good. Yes. And we have that promise and that hope now because we know that Jesus rose from the dead. I love Easter. And it reminds me, he brings resurrection life, which means he said, I am the resurrection, which means I give new life. I am new life. And that reminds me of a song. Yes. So you guys might remember it from when we did our I am statements of Jesus, but I am the resurrection. Here we go. Sing it with us. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will never die. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live a new life. I have come to bring you the truth. Do, do, do. I have come to bring you life. Do, do, do. If, if you, yes, you, believe, I do, then you shall live too. Three, four, five. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will never die. Oh, that is good news. Oh, good news. Thank you, I Jesus, love it. for Easter. All right. Happy Easter, you guys. We look forward to seeing you hopefully on Sunday or maybe around town. Sending you love and blessings and praying for you guys. You can ask Jesus to come into your heart, tell him you love him and you want to follow him anytime, anywhere, and he will bring his love right in there to you through his spirit. Till next week. Ciao. Bye. -bye.